Hey, we're live. Thank you so much. Good to see a group of us already. Um, yes, it's, a, it's another fold. And just to let you know, um, this is the last fold this month, so we're just taking a gap next week. It's actually half term, so time for my family and uh, modelling that good self-care because um, actually everyone needs breaks and that includes myself and it includes you so just including that as part of your own self-care and hopefully modelling that. <clears throat> so I will be showing you something special though for next week. Hello Stephen, hello Margaret and Manny as well. Welcome. Oh dear, I think I need a bit more coffee. <laughs> hmm. I hope you've been enjoying autumn. I've got something maybe for you to consider for next week when there is that little gap. Um, but for this week's live fold, Penny, hello, glad everything's working there, is a lovely, lovely fold that I learned recently from another origamist. And this comes from Kasahara, um, who's, who's done the most amazing animal designs. I've only tried a few and they've just so beautiful, so talented. Um, this is very simple, elegant, kinetic. It is amazing. Um, so it's a really nice design from just a small, simple piece of paper. And um, it really makes people smile. So again, all of these sessions are offered really to my colleagues at UCH, where I, I can't be with them, but we obviously like all hospitals at the moment, not allowing in visitors and effort to keep patients safe they're vulnerable so minimizing and obviously very very hard for for patients and staff as well not to have family and visitors which during difficult times you know getting outside people really makes a difference loved ones there so thinking of people in hospital thinking of patients and thinking of staff as well because it means that they they are under more pressure too so I'm encouraging wherever possible to take breaks and make sure um yeah make sure you give yourself that self-care time if you think at a weekend or whenever your day is off or evenings just to do something different I hope folding can be a good way of doing that Eric welcome excellent it's a good day for the fingers hurrah um I hope you'll like that yeah and there's a few sort of slightly thicker layers so it's good that your fingers are, are there so little grasshopper and yeah I learned this recently and um, I've just been made a little grasshopper and it's sitting on my desk and I just look at it so much because somehow it really does remind me it's almost like a suggestion like a sort of a poem so evocative of of a real little animal and it jumps so I'll show you in just a second it's a really good jumper or maybe I should wait maybe I should wait till we folded our own one and then you can feel how it jumps as well um also, hello Deborah as well. Um, good afternoon. Also going to share with you an idea for next week. So as mentioned, I'm taking a break with my family next week. So getting offline. And um, so actually, this is again something I've done for myself. Um, in spring, which is a long time ago now, I made some lovely cherry blossom uh, cutting out and a little bit of folding, which I really enjoyed. It definitely needs to come down. So I was thinking I love autumn leaves but leaves themselves are quite um quite transient they are beautiful when you find them and they won't last so is there a way to capture that beauty of leaves and so this is what I would offer for next week is oh I've been having such fun so I've been going out to find leaves I really recommend you do that go out and find leaves that you love look at the gorgeous variety of shapes and then what I've done is I've just very, very carefully made sure they're dry before putting them on paper. I've actually kept some of them in the fridge for a bit just because they will dry out if they're left otherwise. Um, and they need that little bit of flexibility. So dried off, laid down on a piece of paper and then very, very carefully, very, very slowly, just drawing carefully around the edge. You have to be really patient because the leaf will go up and down a little bit. Um, and then obviously cutting them out which is again not easy Eric this may be very tricky indeed um, I was using a very fine little nail scissors um, I definitely found it tough you can't do too many in an evening um, and then uh, looking at the real leaves looking as to where their folds are so just adding some gentle folds and it's amazing just these few little folds it makes it feel so leafy 
um, it sort of starts to form the real shape of the leaf. I love ginkgo biloba, so although this is the simplest shapes, it sort of starts to even become the right kind of shape. Maiden's hair, it's also called, isn't it? One really ancient tree species, so um, yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. But uh, yeah, that's a really good idea. So dry leaves between tiles and microbes to keep the colour and then cover with glossy agents such as glue and laminate. That's a brilliant idea. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, that sounds lovely, Marnie. So you've been making paper leaves. Um, yeah. And I like the idea that each one of these is unique from a leaf that I found outside. And then just gently adding the folds um, and then putting them up in my windows. Um, but it's lovely. I found myself looking a lot more at the shapes of leaves as well as a result. So it will help you, I think, look at things differently. Um, mm. <laughs> so I recommend next week, uh, I won't be on live, but maybe I'll put on a video, but maybe go out and find leaves and do what you want with them. But I found it quite really quite joyful to draw around them, cut them and then fold and then I'm going to put them in windows. So it's just a possible idea. Such variety of shapes. I've just, I've just found it fascinating. Ooh. And with those little delicate folds, it somehow becomes the presence of a real leaf. Yeah, I found it very beautiful. It's made me feel happy. <laughs> Yeah, look at that lovely curve of a leaf. Mm. And it just, you realise that mixture. So there are some folded leaves, but in a way, I mean, you just cannot improve on nature. So I just wanted to go more with the actual real shape. So I guess kirigami, with a tiny bit of origami. But actually those few folds completely change it. They give it a gift, different presence. So that's that's my idea to offer for you for next week um, when I am not live. Right, so I have natted a bit more there, but that's setting you a little challenge for next week. We'd love to see what you what you make there. So we're going to make our, own, our little grasshopper. It's very simple. It's very lovely. So grab yourself some paper and something to press on, as usual. Uh, for this one, I find it good actually to do use quite a small piece of paper. So uh, let's see. Uh, this is from another session I was doing about the brain. I'm now going to use this as rough paper. So I've just taken a four piece of paper, folding in half, good strong fold, little neck. You should be able to tear that off. Right. <clears throat> and then making a square. So this is the standard sort of size. Yeah, I have pressed leaves in the past, but they've still got a fragility. I, I ended up really loving the paper. Um, but do experiment. It sounds great. We no longer have a microwave, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, it gives us more space, though. Going to remove the rectangle. But clearly missing out on the leaf side. And obviously you can laminate as well. But they don't then have that three-dimensional feel, which is what I've been enjoying with adding the folds. Um, and yet from a fresh leaf it's so beautiful and it does change <clears throat> so standard sort of size the 15 by 15 centimeters um, and we're going to just divide it into four little squares so we're only going to use one little square but this is I think the right sort of size for a grasshopper you don't want to do a massive grasshopper No, yeah, so I'm not I'm not doing a fold next week. That's right, Deborah. So it's half term and spending time with my family. So modelling self-care as well. And so actually this on Saturday, I'll release a video which shows doing those leaves. And I wonder whether that's something maybe you can go and do yourselves. Just encouraging you to go outside. So next week is go outside. Oh, hello, Junid. Lovely to have you there. So maybe, yeah, maybe next week you can you can go outside and find autumn leaves instead at this time. And then, or if you're, obviously, if you're not able to get outside or you're in hospital, maybe you can go and ask somebody else to go and find you a few beautiful leaves and then bring them back. 
and then carefully, carefully dry them a little bit, carefully, carefully draw around the edge. If you can, with huge amounts of concentration, cut out the shape and then look at the real leaf and start adding in the little folds in the similar places. It's a really nice exercise. It's really made me look at leaves quite differently, actually. So a little square and got a diagonal line. That's good. We're actually going to use that. That's it. There we go. Um, and we'll do the other diagonal line as well. There we go. So we're just making a little grasshopper. That's right. So there we go. Just to get my instructions for that. <laughs> It's such a simple one. It's funny, if I make instructions and that's it, I tend not to try to then memorise it in the same way. Uh, whereas for an awful lot of things, I just try to memorise, which I think isn't the best way, really. But um, there's only so many things you can remember. And certainly when you're doing anything live, it's nice just to have a backup that you can look down and see what to do. Right, so it should be looking like this. Now, if you just fold it back along that, so it's a bit of a mountain fold. So it should be looking like that. Happy, excellent, great. So we're gonna take a corner and bring it down to the bottom, like so. So taking that corner, bringing it down, and maybe with your, because we split up a piece of paper into four little squares, maybe you could do a little collection. I suppose, would it be a swarm of grasshoppers? It's not quite a swarm when there's just um, four, but taking a corner, painting it down. Same with the other corner, and dig down. I mean, maybe green or patterned could be good for this as well. There we go, like so. Happy? Almost there, honestly, it's that simple. So folding it down along that mountain fold, like so, and then tilting it sideways. So you've got that sort of longer, that's the back of the grasshopper, and you've got one end will have almost like the wings of the grasshopper as well. It's lovely. As I think I've mentioned, we've got a little tiny grass. So we've got some grasshoppers which now live at the front of where, where we are. And it's really just a very rubbishy looking piece of land. But it's such a joy to hear them every summer. They, they obviously must live there all year round, really, but only sing really in the summer. But it's wonderful. I absolutely love grasshoppers. Only first realised that we found a little grasshopper in the, in the kitchen. <laughs> that was a surprise and sure enough they're living just outside the window. So you've got the wings at the back there. Think of this as your head and we're going to take one side, there's quite a few layers there, we're going to bend that up. Now I want you to have that narrower at the head and wider at the back. And it's also, you think about the legs of a grasshopper, it's kind of longer there and a little bit shorter there. So it's thinking about that angle. So I took one side and I brought it up. It's a bit of a guesstimate. Narrow at the head, wider at the back. Think of that long leg, like so, We're almost there. And then the bit hanging down, we can then fold back. Or if I turn it around, you can see bringing it around and again taking that bottom folding it up so it matches there we go squashing it down there we go that is it there we go excellent so to make it jump should be sitting there all you have to do is hit the back and it will somersault like so back <laughs> it's a bit unpredictable actually i'm wondering if uh, yeah try really try and make sure that the head's a little bit narrower than the back i wonder if that helps with the jumping so it's got a good sort of distance there that's it so if it's too balanced it will won't somersault quite as well so it's narrower there wider at the back and you never quite know where it's going to jump i hope it's worked for you <clears throat> Mm, it's really fun, isn't it? And it's really fun because it's so simple. And yet when you sit, I find myself sitting there looking at it. It really does resemble a grasshopper. I can really, really imagine it. 
it's like a, a very simple painting, isn't it? Oh, wow, you've got one that, that lands on its own two feet again. That's pretty cool, isn't that funny? Um, so obviously you could draw on that or make a few of them. It's really neat, isn't it? Yeah, really like it. So simple, but very beautiful from Kasahara. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. As mentioned, sorry, that's very short fold, but it's nice, isn't it? See something simple that's really very, very cool. Um, and actually that comes from someone else who's, who does work as well with patients too um, in America and is also finding, also has to do stuff remote. So we're all in odd times and I think it's, yeah, it's still still continues. So this is a really good, safe way of offering encouragement and to do something nice for yourself and or maybe little presents for people that you care about and hopefully bringing a smile to yourself and to others. Thank you very much, Eric. Yeah, looking forward to a break. Um, we did, did get a little break in the summer, but um, this is only the second break since the pandemic, actually. So it's, yeah, will be very good to have a little change of scene. Uh, it does go backwards. You actually never know quite where it's going to go, do you? And that's part of its beauty. And as mentioned, you know, do go do go out and have a little look at leaves and see if you can draw around them. Ginkgo is very good, actually, because that was very smooth to draw around. And they are very fan-like. But as soon as you add, add those folds, you can see it's really changing into the shape of a real leaf. I just found it quite fascinating. I think the key also is to squeezing the stem and getting that so it's a little bit more 3D as well. Um, yeah, it's a really nice thing to do. So look after yourselves, everyone. So it'll be back. Thank you in two weeks' time. Yes, but do have a look at the video online. That's my that's my little way of sending out something nice. And um, yeah, and uh, I hope you can make yourself some beautiful leaf decorations, which will definitely keep you busy. I've been working on these over quite a few weekends, actually. They're really taking my time and enjoying taking my time. Thank you. You take care, Junid. I hope hope you're keeping well and ho hope your friends and family are as well. Um, have a lovely couple of weeks, everyone. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. It was a short one, wasn't it? Bye. Thank you.